Hey guys, Paul here with Pat Tech Photography and Gear Reviews. Today we're going to do something kind of interesting. I've got uh, two DIY beauty dishes and I have a third beauty dish behind me which is a 27 inch Photix Luna and the reason I'm doing this video review is due to a number of emails, uh, uh, questions about beauty dishes and the kind of light they produce. Um, and so I wanted to sort of show you that you have a number of options. I mean, if you want to go top of the line, you're looking at a $300 Mola beauty dish. If you are interested in something like the Photix Luna behind me, uh, which is more affordable, uh, under $100, you can get a hold of one of those. Uh, or you can go to Lowe's and buy yourself a, a terracotta bowl for about $4.25 and a little bit of elbow grease and you can have a couple of these nice little headshot machines for yourself we've got one white and one uh, half and half silver and gold and um, I use these two guys probably most of all spending a little bit more time now using the Luna as well um, and I'm going to show you some pictures so that you can get a comparison because the emails that I've been getting are you know can you show us some pictures to see the kind of to show the kind of light quality that we can get from you know the, the diy beauty dish compared to say the luna unfortunately i don't have a mola to compare for you but uh, maybe one day um, so to start with um, all of the dishes that i'm using uh, I, i've used the yn 563 and they're triggered by a yn 560 tx um, I've zoomed the flash out to 105, uh, full power, and I put the wide-angle diffuser on, uh, which I think helps diffuse the light a little bit uh, in, in the dish itself. At least I, I use it quite a bit. And so in this first image comparison, um, what you're going to see is uh, two shots. And both of these images were shot with the DIY white. And this terracotta bowl is 18 inches from here, from one side to the other. Uh, as you can see, it's a little worse for wear. Probably what I should have done was sanded the, the uh, plastic uh, before painting it. But I have a CD on the inside, so the reflective surface goes towards the back. And so, you know, the fact that the paint's coming off doesn't really cause any issues. Um, I would say the most uh, pleasing light, I think, or the, the DIY dish I use the most is this white one because it gives you a really nice soft white light uh, for doing headshots, which is fantastic. And so uh, the first image, the one on the far right, um, I've just shot with the beauty dish and I had the beauty dish set, you know, directly overhead, maybe 12 inches above my head and probably two feet in front of me. Very straightforward. And the second image, exactly the same. I didn't change anything. But what I did was I just took the old foam core board, uh, like so, under the chin. And it's amazing what you can do with one light and how the light from that beauty dish will bounce and come up and fill the shadows under your chin. So that's what you have from the 18-inch DIY beauty dish, the white version. Now, <clears throat> this next image... Or the next set of images there's two images so uh, for that one I used this one basically what I did here was I spray painted the beauty dish silver and then I went back over it with a little bit of gold spray paint and so if you want to warm up the the temperature of the image a little bit um, you know this is the one you want to opt for now all of the shots that you're looking at in the pictures were all taken with this 5x7 white collapsible backdrop behind me, so nothing fancy. And the only lighting that was used was this guy right here, one YN560. So there were no soft boxes on the left or right or, or other diffusers. So it was simply the white, soft white beauty dish, the half and half with the silver and gold, and I added in the one foam core board. Now, the last series of shots that uh, you're going to see are using the Photix Luna. And what I discovered about the Photix Luna is that uh, when I was using the Luna with the 560 and I did not have the diffuser on, I got some really interesting lighting effects. I found that 
when I put the diffuser on the Photix Luna, the light output is tremendous. So that light is hitting the, the uh, reflector inside the dish and it's going you know, out like so, but I think what's happening is it's hitting the diffuser and bouncing around, but it's, it, it, the intensity of the light is, is quite a bit greater than if I use the beauty dish without the diffuser. So typically when I'm using the Luna, I have the diffuser on, and as you can see in the pictures, I'll show you the comparison there, is that um, there's quite a difference from the light intensity when using this as compared to the Luna. The Luna is 27 inches, this is 18 inches, so this tends to be a little bit more focused. But uh, for those of you that are new to photography or you're wondering about beauty dishes, man, um, once you start using one of these bad boys, you'll be hooked for life because the quality of light that you get from them, it's absolutely tremendous. It's very hard to beat. You know, Umbrellas will just diffuse the light and throw light everywhere, whereas the dish uh, tends to focus the light in a really flattering way. Okay, so just to kind of recap, um, I already mentioned that we're using the YN563, and we were triggering the flash in the beauty dish using the YN560TX uh, transmitter, which I absolutely love. It gives you total control. And the lens we're using is a Sigma 18 to 50 mil, uh, zoom to 50 millimeters. And that's it. Very straightforward to do. So I hope that, um, you know, this sort of combination of explanation and pictures gives you an idea. And one thing I just wanted to, to stress is that those pictures that I showed, none of those images have had any retouching. I mean, I could do wonders with them by, you know, employing color correction and retouching and all that kind of stuff. But I wanted it to be very straightforward for you. You know, here's here's the images with the white dish. Here's the images with the silver and gold. Here's the images with the Luna. Folks, I hope that helps. If you have any questions uh, about, you know, how to make these beauty dishes or about the, the kind of lighting or anything like that, uh, don't hesitate to shoot, uh, shoot me a line, connect in. And I'll be happy to get back to you as soon as I can. So that's it for this one. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and like us. And uh, I should be back pretty soon with a review of the YN605 uh, triggers. Uh, the, the radio triggers that Young Newell's had out for some time now, the 603s, uh, have been updated to 605. they got some new functionality built in. So we'll be taking a look at that real soon. Uh, that's it. Take care and we'll see you soon. Bye now.